phone losers of America. What are they trying to say? That they're losers? And what's with this cactus business? How can a group of people be so obsessed with telephones? I don't get it. What's fascinating about a telephone? Normal people use telephones to call people. They don't obsess over them. Get a life, phone losers! They have a ridiculous YouTube account where they post immature prank calls and idiotic contests. It's the dumbest thing ever! Who watches this crap? For 20 years now, they've been doing the same old stupid shtick. They think they're hackers, but they couldn't hack their way out of a paper bag! They even have a live call-in show on Cacti Radio. Maybe I'll give them a call this week, but I don't think those idiots are going to like what I have to say. Playing on the telephone is for kids. These aren't kids. They need to grow up, get a life, find girlfriends, and find jobs. They really are losers. everybody you're listening to the snowplow show this is episode 642 it's been about two weeks since i've done a show a snowplow show anyway if you were a subscriber on patreon then you would have heard the hobo so that i did the other day but that's your fault right it's totally not the fault of today's sponsors brennan chris j dirty syringe eat fuck and jamie f they all got to hear the hobo so from a few days ago don't you wish you were like them and you signed up on patreon.com slash phone losers? I feel like kind of a dick begging everybody to sign up on Patreon when I haven't done a show in two weeks. But I've been in the Midwest for the past two weeks now. I've been extremely busy here doing family stuff and it's been kind of hard to find any time for shows and things. Stuff keeps coming up. So sorry, everyone. I don't have a lot of time today either to do calls and edit and all of that stuff. So I'm just going to kind of skip all the intro stuff and get right into the calls. I mean, you know, skip all the intro stuff except begging you to sign up on Patreon, of course. But let's do some calls, and I'll do a longer intro on the next show. I just want to make sure I get this out today, because I promised I would, and I kind of have my doubts that it's going to happen today, anyway. Hello? Ryan? Yes? Hey, I'm getting real tired of your shit. Why don't you just... Hang that phone right up. Who is this? Don't worry about it. Just hang up the phone. But what are you talking about? Look, I'm talking about you taking that phone and hanging it the fuck up. 
But who are you? Ryan! Hang up the phone. Who are you? I'm the guy that's telling you to hang up this goddamn phone. Why are you so angry? I'm not angry. I'm just tired of listening to your fucking voice. So you take that phone and you hang it right up. Why did you call? To tell you to hang up the phone. That, 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 that makes no sense. Ryan, don't worry about it. Just hang up the phone and go about your day. Who are you? Ryan, I'm the guy telling you to hang up the phone. Take that phone. What's and you your name? Ryan, can you please disconnect the call? Are you in a cell or no. a landline? Why are you talking to me this way? Because I want to tell you the proper way to hang up whatever kind of phone you're on. I want you to take that you're cell phone away from your big fat face and push the red button. Push it! Why, why are you being so rude? I'm not trying to be rude. And you know what? You wouldn't have to listen to me. me. You would not have to listen to me be rude if you just hang up that phone. I'm choosing not to. Well, You're not the boss of me. Well, that's stupid. Why would you sit here and listen to me? <laughs> Ryan! Tell that bitch in the background to shut the fuck up and then hang up this phone. You're a very angry person. I'm not angry at all. I just really want you to hang up the phone. I don't want to hang up the phone. Well, I command you to hang up the phone. Ooh. Such big words for a man on the other side of the phone. It wasn't that big of a word. It's a pretty simple one, really. Ooh. Ryan. You're so big and strong, aren't you? No, not at all. I'm actually fairly weak. I'm not claiming to be big and strong. I just want you to hang up that goddamn phone. You use such rude and crude words. You took the Lord's name in vain. Did I? You know what that means? Uh, yeah, you said goddamn phone. So you know what God's going to have to do to you? Is that like how I'm not allowed to say Voldemort? You. <clears throat> oh, but it's not that. But more that imaginary? Really matter. Yeah. Well, they're all imaginary. Okay, um, listen, it's been three minutes. I'm actually from Royco's Distraction Services. I was hired to distract you for exactly three minutes, and your three minutes is up. So uh, thank you for participating. I am going to hang up the phone. Cheers. Love you. Hang it up. Click. He hung it up. I win. So I have another big old list here from Frankie. I'm pretty sure I used up his last list a while back, and he was nice enough to send me another list. So I'm calling numbers off of this brand new list. It has names, addresses, phone numbers of all kinds of people, you know, like all different neighborhoods around a large area. And I kind of think I'm going to be mostly using this list while I'm in Illinois, away from the Situation Room because I can't spoof numbers while I'm away from the situation room. I mean, I, I think I can't, I, I haven't even tried yet, okay? But listen, I got myself a phone number in this area of Frankie's where all these people are. So they have my phone number, they can call me back. I spent about 20 minutes today trying to, you know, get shit working here and making sure that they can call me back so they can call me back, which is pretty cool. I might get some fun callbacks. I'm really jealous of Daisy and Devin's show because they have phone numbers where they get called back all the time and people yell at them and it's been a while since I've done that. So I think I got things all set up here and people can call me back just like the good old days. And I don't know what I'm gonna do today. I don't think I'm gonna do just hang up the phones, but maybe I will. Hello? Hey, is Michael there? What? Hello? Hey, how come she hung up before? I don't know, who is this? 
Uh, this is your neighbor, Dale. I was calling to let you know I've been getting some of your mail. Did they what? I was getting some of your mail. Oh, okay. Yeah, like, I, I've been, i just been stacking it up here for a few weeks. I don't know what the postman's problem is. I live several houses away. Well, that's strange. Yeah. I'm huh? sorry, I didn't, sorry she hung up because we've been getting a lot of robocalls and stuff. Yeah, and that was clearly not a robocall. I'm just like, hey, is Michael there? So, you know, yeah. she she pissed me off to the point where I'm I'm like, here, I'm grabbing your mail off the kitchen table. I'm ripping it up. You know, rip it into little pieces. Rip it into tiny, tiny pieces. Take that. A joke or what? Oh, no. No, I wouldn't kid about this. I'm ripping up your mail. Ripping it into shreds. I'm going to rip up every letter here. And tell that dumb wife of yours that it's all her fault. Hey, smartass. I don't know who the hell you are, but... Uh you think you're you think you're really tough? Uh, you know, I'll, I'll get the cops out here. I'll get the postal service out here. If you're, oh, you if better tearing up our mail. You better not. No, no. Look, I'm not no goddamn postman, so I'm not going to bring you your mail. It's not my job. Well, if you're tearing my up your uh, tearing up our mail, that's a federal crime, buddy. No, uh -uh. no. Well, it's a federal crime for me to impersonate a postman and deliver your mail. And damn it, somebody was calling back right then. I don't know who it was. I was trying to hurry that one up so I could pick up for this guy calling me. Oh shit, I need to set up a voicemail. I didn't even think of that. And I always forget how to do that on this service, but I know it's an option. Do I want to do that right now? Not really. Fuck. Because what does it do when I don't answer? Does it just ring forever? Let's find out. That's my cell phone ringing right there. I see the call coming in. I'm ignoring it. The other guys was up there for a while, too, so I think it just rings forever, but I do need to set up a voicemail. Oh, did you hear that? It actually, uh, it, it rang maybe ten times, and then it just went to a, a busy signal. So that's no good. That's not normal behavior for a phone number. Okay, I'm back. You guys didn't know I left through the magic of, uh, you know, post-editing stuff. I set up a voicemail. I'm going to call it real quick and make sure it works. Here, let me reject my call. Hey, it's me. I'm not here right now. Leave your message. Please leave your message after the tone. When done, hang up or press the pound key. Hey, motherfucker. Don't tell me to hang up the phone. There, I hung up the phone. Everything seems to be working just fine. And I just got an email. It has the voicemail in it. I heard my dumb message. Okay, let's make some more calls. By the way, everyone, this might be a short show. You know, it's so much stuff happening around here that I have to do. I had to do a bunch of hard labor work from like 9 in the morning until noon. What kind of vacation is this? This is fucking bullshit. That's what it is. And it seems like every time I start a show, I have to figure out my audio settings. That took like a half hour. Listen to me with all these excuses. I need to shut up, dial a number. Hello? Hey, is Glory around? Who's calling? Uh, oh, it's Gloria. Hey, I'm your neighbor. Uh, this this is Brad. I live here on too. Mm-hmm. Um, do you think you could stop looking at me like I make my son wear dresses? Because I don't. And it's kind of like you're spreading rumors about me. Can you please just stop doing that? Who are you? Uh, it's Brad. I'm your neighbor. You know the blue house? Like down the road a bit? Can you please just stop looking at me like I make my son wear dresses? I mean, I don't have anything against people that let their their kids wear, you know, their male kids wear dresses. There's nothing wrong with that. It's 2020, but I don't, I wouldn't make him. <laughs> she hung up. Maybe I'll just do that for the rest of the show. I think I still have ideas here from somebody. Yeah, Parkman. Pretty sure there's got to be some others. Hello. Hey, Loretta. Hey. This is she. Okay, geez. Uh, this is your neighbor, Roy, you know, in the blue house. In the where? The blue house, down the street. I have a question. Hi. Um, do you think you can stop looking at me like I name my kids after famous celebrities? Because I don't. Say what? Well, you're always looking at me like I name my kids after famous celebrities, and I don't do that. Their names are Richard and Olga. I don't even know who the hell you are. Ma'am, their names are Richard and Olga. Richard was my uh, grandpa's middle name on my mom's side. 
and Olga was, you know, a relative on my wife's side. There, 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 I don't, I don't tell you anything either. Okay, well, yeah, I'm, I just, I don't even know what celebrities you'd be talking about. Richard and Olga, who's that? I said, I don't even know who you are. Oh, this is Roy in the blue hat. You're like, every time I walk by, you're always looking at me like I name my kids after famous celebrities. And it, at this point, it feels like you're just spreading rumors. And you've got kids? Yeah, I have two kids, Richard and Olga. And I'm supposed to know your kids? Well, you're, like, accusing me of naming them after celebrities, so I guess you do. And I live where? You don't know where you live? Well, I do, but I don't think you do. No, I, I live here on the same... I'm on drive. I'm just down the street a bit. I don't the, even know where drive is. What are you talking about? I'm kidding. I'm on, look, I'm on the road. Can you please just stop looking at me like that? Ah, I fucked up. I told her the wrong street because I was looking at the wrong line of this list because I'm only using two monitors for my show today. Like a goddamn hobo when usually I have three monitors. I'm really slumming it here in Illinois. And that was an idea from Parkman probably. Yeah, there it is. Thanks, Parkman, for that one. Yeah, Harriet? Yes? It, it's Roy, your neighbor. Uh-huh. Hey, w what's with your weird-ass phone number? It's not even in our area code. Oh, Delaware, Delaware. What? That's not even a real <laughs> place. Delaware. What is that, like in, <laughs> in Paris? Yeah. You're in Delaware, Paris? Oh, yeah, my, uh, how my older sister in Delaware. Look, I don't know what you're trying to pull, but, like, are you a scammer? Cause I, it just, like, mm -hmm. why why can't you have just a normal phone number? Like, you live here. Change Ooh. your, get, get a number in our area code. Or at least. Oh, I should get a number in the area code? Yeah. Okay, I will do that. <laughs> how long is it going to take? Let's, let's, hey, who, which, what's your phone company? I'm going to put them on three-way right now. Uh, no, I can't do it right now. I will do it maybe next month. Uh, can you give me your account password and I will call your phone company and I'll change it to a really good number in our area code? Uh, not today. <sighs> no, I'll do it. You don't have to do anything. I'll call you back with the no I'll put them on three-way. You can just listen to me do it. Uh, Who's your carrier? I have the I have the number memorized to every carrier in the United States. Oh. Try me. Yeah, I I don't want to change my number right now. Maybe I will do it later, but not right now. But it looks like a weird communist phone number. It's scary. <laughs> <laughs> You're making me nervous. <laughs> that's a number I have. I think you've been a number for five years. Ah, uh, th that's not even that long. Yeah. Just get rid of it. <laughs> Just get rid of it. Get a new one. Yeah. We'll do it later, not today. What would you think about, like, swapping phone numbers with me? And I can have your 302 number. But who am I speaking to? What? You said, I said, who am I speaking to? Uh, this is Roy. This is Roy. I'm your neighbor. Roy? Yep. Definitely a hospital? Oh shit, I gotta go. I left the oven on. Can you hear the, can, can, can you hear the smoke alarm in the background? It's the the, the kitchen's on fire. The kitchen on fire? Yeah. Oh, that's good. That'd be on fire. I gotta I have an insurance on my on my kitchen. You have insurance on your kitchen? Oh, yeah, even my whole girl brand, my insurance went to take care of everything, so thank you. Okay, that's you a nice... You tracked me before. That's a nice... You tracked me before. I know you too good, so thank you. Bye-bye. Have -bye. a good weekend. Wait, what did I say before? I don't know. You told me that my heart is on fire. I almost made an accident. What? So I was, I was thank you for me. That wasn't... You do that before. That, that thank was, you. Have a good weekend. I, that was not me. 
Okay, it's from your company. Somebody do it from your company. Oh, your yeah. Principal. I work at the prank call call center. Oh, she hung up. I am pretty sure I did not call a lady and tell her that her house was on fire. She's on crack or something. That sounds like something somebody from Delaware would say. Pretty sure Delaware is not even a real state. I mean, have you ever been there? I've never been there. There's proof. Anyway, that prank didn't work. She's supposed to get mad at me, and she didn't. You've reached Jay. Sorry, I missed your call. I'll return your call as soon as possible. Thank you, and have a great day. At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Jay. 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 Pick up the phone. Pick it up. Pick up the phone. Hold on, I gotta make another call. I'm gonna make another call with him on the line. Hello? Theodore. Who's this? Uh, it's your neighbor, Roy. Who is this? It's your neighbor. My name's Roy. Okay, Roy. Um, there's a small problem. Okay. Uh, I was in your backyard last night. And uh -huh. I was laying out there in your backyard in the middle and... There was some dried up dog poop on the ground, and okay. I, I like l laid my head right on it. it. Got all in my hair. Okay. So what do you want me to do? Wash them for you? Well, can you can you keep your yard cleaned up and keep all the dog poop out of your yard? Yeah, I can do that. Okay, thank you. All right. I appreciate it. No problem. Can 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 you go do it right now? Yeah, I did it this morning. Well, a lot of good that did me last night, because I was out there last night at like 3 in the morning, and I was laying in your yard, and there was dried up dog poop. It had been there for a while. It was in the yard anyway. What? What you were doing in my yard anyway, laying down. I, w I was like laying out there. I was just looking at the stars, you know, just hanging out. In my yard? Yeah, Can yeah. Can you see stars from somewhere else? No, I, I like your yard. And... And the thing is, like, the poop, it was, like, dried up. It had been there for at least a couple of days. Uh, okay. So, I don't, I don't know, like, you need to take care, better care of your lawn. All right. Please. Anything else? Can you apologize? Do you have anything else to do with your life, dude? No, I, like, I feel like you... <laughs> It didn't work out, Jay. He didn't get upset at all. I don't understand. But while I have you on the line, let's make another call. Let me delete Theodore's number. I wonder how long your voicemail goes on. We've been on the phone for two minutes and 50 seconds. We're going to try Joseph next. Hold on. I'm doing it. Three minutes. Oh, shit. Uh oh, what's that mean? What's that noise? I don't know if you guys heard that. That was like a, a beep. I didn't like it. You have reached the maximum time permitted for recording oh. your message. Okay. If you're satisfied with the message, press one yeah. to listen to your message. To send your message with normal. Oh, come on. This guy is not picking up. Hello. Hey, uh, Peter. Yes. Hey, it's Brad. I'm your neighbor. Yeah. Hey, uh, I, I was like laying out in your backyard last night, late last night, and um, you know, you have you had dog poop in the in your yard. Do you think you could okay. try and keep that cleaned up? Because I I like where I was laying it. It no, got wait, all over hold my. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. You were laying in my backyard? Yes, and I got all over my pants, all over the back of my jeans. Well, then don't lay in my backyard. Well, it, I, I shouldn't have to worry about stuff like that. You know, like, just keep your yard cleaned up. So where, which uh, house do you live in? I'm in the blue house. I'm in circle. Can you please just take better care of your lawn? That's all I'm asking. It's, I, I'm not going to, like, demand, you know, that you replace my pants or anything. I just really would appreciate it if you keep that cleaned up 
I don't even know what the hell you're talking about because we pick up our dog poop. Well, apparently you missed some because I should. Well, okay, I should, well, it wasn't. You, you know Perhaps what? Perhaps it was your dog. Oh, I don't even have a dog. What? I ain't no goddamn hillbilly. What? What? What blue house do you live in? Uh, just like you know, a block away or something. I'm I'm on. Like Saratoga's. a block away. Yeah. Look, can you tell your husband to take better care of your lawn? Because wait a minute, I our can... yard spectacular. We actually have a lawn care. Okay, then how come I laid down in your lawn last night and got it all over the back of my jeans, like just smeared? It looked like I shit myself. It's disgusting. Okay, well, for, well, okay, but wait a minute, we don't have a backyard. I'll send you pictures. <laughs> Okay, that would be great because we don't have a backyard. I'm not even asking. You know, you don't have to pretend you don't have a backyard. Don't be. We st- don't. We do not. We do not literally have a backyard. Why did you take over the call anyway? You need well, to sh- because I was trying to figure out. You're talking about my dog, not my husband. Well, oh uh, what? You and don't- what kind of dog do I have? What you don't like share the the dog? I mean, like you're just like, yeah, no. it's mine. what kind of dog? What kind of dog do we have? And what have you been taking and drinking? How the fuck would I know what kind of dog? You, I don't even know you two. I, I just, I was in your backyard. I was laying out there. I got dog shit all over the back of my pants. Okay, well, how Clean do you get your, our number? Is in the is on the internet. On the internet. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I want to see the pictures of my backyard. Unless you're laying it in. Unless you're laying in. Um, the neighbor's yard, that's the only thing I can think of. Well, you live at <laughs> right? No, we do not. Yes, you do. Bullshit. I live just oh, like I a block away. Live there. I live a block away. I do not live at that address that you just said. Oh, did you move or something? Did you used to? No, we did not. Oh, well, I think you're full of shit. Put Peter back on the phone, lady. Get back in the kitchen. Ma'am, hand Peter the phone. Ah, I think she was lying. Lady's full of it. Hello. Hey, Emmanuel. Yeah. It's your neighbor, Brad. Hey, what's happening? Uh, well, I was I was metal detecting. Uh, you know, I'm in the metal detecting club. I was metal detecting in your backyard last night, and I think I may have dropped my my house keys back there. Metal detecting? Yeah. What, behind the fence? What? Your phone sucks. Can you speak closer to the mic or something? Let me get off. Hello? You said. Okay. Yes. That's, that's better. That sounds much better. Good job. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. Um, I, Did you find my keys by chance? Like my key ring has like six keys on it. I just woke up. I didn't even been outside yet. Nah. You said you've been metal detecting what? Oh, last night around three or four in the morning, I was in your backyard, just you know, metal detecting, just looking for treasures and stuff. Oh, uh, what a hill and stuff at? What? What a hill and stuff at? Yeah, well, you know, closer to the house. But um, yeah, I uh, I, I must have dropped my keys back there because I couldn't even get in the house last night. I had to, you know, I had to use, I had to just sleep on the porch. <laughs> Where do you live at? I'm I'm just up up the you know the blue house on drive. I, I live there. Uh-huh. This, this is Brad. Brad, Brad. Okay. Yep. Did Did you happen to see my keys? I could take a look. I just I've been went to work and I just woke up just a minute ago. Ah, uh, because I was back there like three in the morning and like I dug a few small holes because I was getting uh-huh. I was getting some beeps and. Maybe my keys fell in one of those holes. Maybe I don't I'll know. Just t- I'll just take a look out in the backyard. That's I'll take a look in the back once I uh, put some clothes on. Okay, I mean, just go naked. You got a fence. Who cares? Go naked. Uh, you have a fence. Who cares? <laughs> you know, just walk back there naked. Who's gonna see? I'm gonna go in my backyard naked. Well, who's who's gonna see you? You have a fence. Goodbye. I'm about to go take a look. What the hell? Is this a prank? Oh no, <laughs> no, I wouldn't make a prank. I'm, I'm like, you know, I'm in my forties. But are you gonna call me back then and let me know if you find him? I'll look. Are you gonna expect a reward? What? Are you gonna expect a reward? Do I have to give you money for my keys? I will take a look. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right. I appreciate right. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, so um yeah, maybe we'll get a call back from that guy. Not that I want one because he's not going to get angry. Nobody's getting angry today. Just tomorrow. Hello. Hey, Hello. Stephanie. Yes. Hey, it's uh Brad. I'm I'm with the the local metal detecting club. Uh we're going to show up at your house in just a little bit. We're just going to be doing some metal detecting in your yard. There, there's just going to be like uh, seven of us, that's all. What? We're going to be metal detecting in your yard. For what? Uh, just for whatever. You know, we're just going to look around and see what we can find. There's going to be seven of us with metal detectors just walking around your yard. And uh, if, no. And if we find anything, you know, personal of yours, we'll we'll give it back. Just, you know, we're just going to, it's it's just going to, we're just going to be out there for maybe an hour front and backyard. Oh, you're not going to be no anywhere. Nowhere. Ma'am, don't, don't yell at me. What's what's the matter? No, ma'am, nothing. How you get my phone number? Who is it? I'm not a ma'am. I, this is Brad. I'm with the... Little man, Brad, whoever the freak you is. Whoa. No. Okay. Well, no, I'm not asking permission. We're, we're just, we're a metal detecting club. We just want to... Okay, well, then you, co- you come out here. It's something for you if you come out here with the metal detector. I'm going to. That's what I'm saying. Me, me and okay. me and some of my church yeah, sure church friends. <laughs> Holy shit! I can't believe nobody's calling me back except that one person who I couldn't pick up for because I was on the phone. I should have just said hold on and put him on with us. Hello, Lisa. It's your neighbor, Roy. Who? Roy. Hey. Um. Okay. I, we're going to be metal detecting in your yard uh, in just a little bit. My, Why? Uh, just for fun. Like, I'm in the metal detecting club, and my friends are going to be coming over in the church van, and they're going to all have metal detectors. We're just going to do your front and backyard and see if we find anything. Okay, I think I'd prefer that you're not, because we have animals outside. Well, can you bring them in? Um, no. Why not? We're, we're just, you know, it's, we're not doing anything wrong. We're just metal detecting, that's all. Oh, I know, but you'll freak him out, so I'd really appreciate it if you didn't. We'll put him in the goddamn house, then. Well, it is our yard. Well, can we please metal detect in your yard? Mm, I'd prefer that you not. <sighs> like, we already planned it out, though. My friends are on the way. We're, we're, like, if we find oh, anything... I appreciate it. Look, if, if, you, if, you, if you just try being nice for once in your life, maybe we'll find something of yours that you lost and you forgot about. And we'll give it to you. I, I appreciate it, but you should have checked with me earlier. What? What? You wouldn't have been a, a total B earlier? No, maybe not. Look, we're sorry. We'll, we'll just do the front yard. We'll just do the. We'll, we'll do. <laughs> we're gonna do the easement, you guys. That's what we'll do. She can't say shit about the easement. Hello. Hey, Grega. Yes. Um, this is Brad. I'm with the metal detecting club. Uh huh. Uh, we're just going to be coming over to your house in a little bit. We're going to be uh, doing some metal detecting in your yard. For what? Uh, no reason. You know, it's just we're hobbyists. We're metal detecting enthusiasts, and we're just going to... Okay, well, I'd rather you not do that in the yard. Well, no, it's it's fine. It, like, we've done this before. We know what we're doing. Uh, we'll just have little shovels. We're not going to, you know, we're not going to cause any damage or anything. We're just going to look around and see what we can find. Is this a joke? No. No, I'm in the metal detecting club. We we do this every weekend, like every Saturday. I so, feel like I'm being pranked right now. This is not serious, is it? Yeah, no, this is completely serious. So we're just. When are you gonna be here? Um, maybe in th- twenty or thirty minutes. We're all in the van right now. Okay, I... But there's just seven okay, of us. You yeah. know, it's not a big deal. Okay, I feel like you're messing with me, but I don't want you to do that to my yard. If you if you're serious. Oh, no, we're not it's not going to hurt your yard. It, it's just like I don't care. I don't care. It's I don't, just I don't care. It's just looking for metal things. Yeah, I understand what metal detecting is, but no. <laughs> well, no, like Stay off my yard, please. No, it, it's it will, will, will like be less than an hour to cover your whole yard. Like you don't even have that big of a yard. It, we're just going to, you know. Who just, is this? Uh my name's Roy. How'd you get my number? Uh, I looked on the internet. 
We we just we do this every Saturday. It's not a big deal. Like, I like. What do you have in your yard that you don't want us to find? It, it seems kind of sketchy at this I, point. I just don't want you to be on my yard. <laughs> For what reason? Like you're not you're not out there, right? You're inside. I can tell you're inside. Okay. Well, I'll tell you right now. If you come in my yard, then just don't. Okay. Thank you. Well, no. Finish the threat. Just, just don't come in my yard. I don't Please. What, what do we need? Like, do we get have to give you ten bucks? Okay. People are so protective of their yards. He was actually the next door neighbor of that last lady I talked to. Fun fact, everybody. Now you know. This is eight five three. Please leave a message. Hey, don't tell me what to do, lady. Call me back. See, that's what I need to start doing. I need to start just leaving shitty messages to people and see what happens. I'm really disappointed. Why haven't I gotten any calls back? I'm positive it's working. I've called it from my cell phone. It comes through. And it goes to voicemail. If I don't pick up. Hello. Please leave a message after the tone. Whoop. Whoop, 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 whoop. Hey, why is my voice echoing back? Fix your stupid answering machine, stupid. Also, can you pick up the phone, please? Here, hold on. I gotta make another call. This will only take a second. How long of a tape do you have in there? Hello? Hey, Scott? Yeah? It's your neighbor, Roy. Roy. What? Uh, been... Speak up. Um... Right. Hey, do you think, like, every time I walk by, you're always looking at me like I get all my news from Pornhub? And I don't. No. Like, I, I actually don't even use Pornhub to look at porn, to be honest. Uh, I'm not, Roger, I'm sorry. Could you tell me which house you live in? Cause... Oh, yeah, I'm in the blue house. I'm on the same street. I'm on 106th Street. I'm in the, you know, the blue house, like, um, I think five houses down. Uh, um, I... I, I I didn't even wasn't even aware of you. What? I I don't know. The only thing I'm watching is to uh, is my dogs if they're out there and yeah. But like when when I look up at you, you you look at me like I get all my news from Pornhub. Uh, and I no, don't. I visit Pornhub and it doesn't bother me. Yeah, no, no, I, I, like, there's nothing wrong with looking at Pornhub, it's just that, um, I don't get my news from there. Like, what news, it'd just be news about porn stars, and, like, that's not interesting. I, I, I don't, I don't get my news from there either. Yeah, well, well, why would you look at me like I get my news from there? That doesn't make sense. Uh, that's not even... Well, I'm, I'm not sure what you're talking about, but, um, if I've offended you in some way, I'm sorry. Oh, no, it's a, no, no reason to apologize. No big deal. I was just hoping you could stop looking at me like I get all my news from Pornhub. And you... What do you look like? Uh, I'm really fat. Brown hair. Brown hair and fat. Um, Very no, soft. I, I, I don't, uh... I'm sorry if I've offended you. No, you haven't offended me. What you doing today? Oh, you, no, I just like to talk to people. Oh, you just watching the I game? To, I talk to everybody. Shit. I mean, cool. That's nice. Me too. I, I just... I, I talk to more... You're not the only guy I talk to. I talk to everybody that stops by. Oh, I know. Like, no, 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 we weren't necessarily really talking. Whoa. Oh, I think it's that answering machine. Let me hang up on it. Stupid answering machine. Hanging up on you. There, I hung up on them. Yeah, um... No, like, we weren't talking that much. It's just, like, you always look at me like I get all my news from Pornhub, and that's silly. Well, um, I don't feel that way, and uh, I... Frankly, get my news from a controversial source, but um, what you know. source? Which one? Fox News. Oh, I get mine from Alex Jones. Okay, well, see, we're even on the same page. Yeah. Because I follow Mark Dice. Okay.
Yeah. So yeah. All right. Um. All right. All right. Uh, I, I have no opinions about anybody that's walked by my house. Okay. Well, no. And it's just the. I talk to you. I. Y- yeah. Well, it's just the way you're looking at me. It looked like you thought I got all my news from Pornhub, and I just didn't want you to think that because that's that's not true. No, I think we even see things from the same perspective. Yay. But uh Hey, can you I'm tell your dog to stop I've growling? Oh uh, he Boop him boop him on the nose. Uh boop. he just wants to play with everybody. Aww. And that's what he does when he wants to play. Oh. And I just can't let him near everybody because he's nine years old and I'm worried he's gonna get have a one of his discs in his back is going to slip or something, and and he might go off on someone. But yeah. He just wants to play with you. Yeah. Do you, like, next time I walk by and he's out there, can I just, like, jump down and roll around with them on the grass? As long as I'm standing there. Okay. Cool. Well, I'll see you later. Uh, I'll say hi to you next time I see you. Say, come up to me next time, say hi to me, and shake my hand, and you'll be okay with the dog. Okay. But the, the dog, I try and keep away from everybody because most people are really scared of him. Oh. And he's, he's <sighs> while he's not a baby baby, uh, he's a very old dog. And he's gotten a little surlier. He's going to be nine in July. Yeah. Well, he's a nice so, dog. He's a good boy. Well, uh, yeah, I'm sorry I have... Uh, uh, giving you the wrong impression. Oh, no, no, uh, it's nothing to be sorry about. I was just, I was worried that you thought I got all my news from Pornhub. It's not your fault. Uh, like, maybe we should just talk to each other more and, and get to know each other, and then you won't think that. All right, just, uh... Well, I have a boner, so I'm gonna <laughs> so I'm gonna hang up. <laughs> all right. Bye. Bye. <laughs> well, at least that made him laugh, you know? I thought he was taking the whole call way too seriously. So he got a small laugh out of it. Hello. Hey, Diana. Hello. Hello, is Diana there? It's your neighbor, Roy. I'm just my mama. Okay. Hello. Hey, Diana. It's it's your neighbor, Roy. Okay. In the blue house. I'm sorry. In the blue house. You know, d- down the street a bit in the blue house. Oh, okay. Yeah. Diana. Diana. Part German. Part Hispanic. Diana. Diana. You Are know, you sure you're calling the right number? Y- yeah. I, I live on court. In the blue okay. house. Okay. I-, I wrote a song for you. Did you like it? You did what for me? I wrote a song. Oh, I think you have the wrong number. No, Diana. Oh, 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 What's my oh, last oh. name? Anderson. And I can't, why, are, what, why am I vague today? Can, Maybe I'm just... Well, can, can you just thank me for the song that I just sang you? I, I put a lot of effort into that. Okay. Did you even hear I'm it? Just, I'm just thinking, what in the world am I missing here? Well, I just, after I sang the song for you, I was hoping you'd be like, "Oh, that's so sweet. But you just like, you got the wrong number. Now my, my heart's broken. Okay, you made a sign for me. No, a song. Did you not hear me sing the song? Oh, a song! <laughs> Did you not hear the song? I'm sorry. You know what? Okay, it's all right. It's nobody. This phone has needs new batteries, so everything comes out a little scattery. <sighs> hey, that rhymes. You could be a songwriter. Batteries, scattery. Yeah. Diana. Yeah, Diana. The- part German, <laughs> part Hispanic. Diana. Blah, blah, blah. I forget the rest of the lyrics now. You got me all flustered. Okay. Well, now, what can I do for you today besides the fact that you're singing this song? 
and I'm not showing a lot of gratitude because my phone is not really up to par. It's okay. I, I'm actually um, I'm just writing songs for everybody in the neighborhood, and most peop- uh-huh. mo- most people have cursed at me. So you've been super nice. So thank you. Oh well, I would never do that. No, I won't do that. So. Okay. Well, p- pretty soon I'm going to release uh, a new a CD of songs about everybody in the neighborhood, and I'll give you a copy. Okay. Okay. All right. I'll I'll look for that. Okay. All right. You'll see it okay. soon. Okay. Uh, okay. Bye. I love you. <laughs> this is such this is such a happy moment for me. <laughs> it is for me too. I I'm just I'm just glad you're not cursing at me that's that was my no, goal I would never do that. not to get cursed at and i succeeded no i would not do that so okay oh 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 oh, oh. that's gonna be like the guitar solo part okay all right i should look forward to it all right bye honey okay bye, bye. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was that what did i just do you guys, I really need to confess something to you. I didn't write that song. It's by Nerf Herder. I totally plagiarized it. And Diana was none the wiser. And what a perfect place to end today's show. Unfortunately, I have some bad news for y'all. I'm not going to play voicemails today. I'm so sorry. I know that's everybody's favorite segment of the show. I could play voicemails. I have the technology here. That's not what's holding me back. I just have a bunch of shit to do. And halfway through all those calls, I disappeared. You know, I had a bunch of shit to do. Then I came back. I did some more calls. It's really hard to get any time to myself lately. So I just want to work on editing the calls and put this show out. So thank you to the sponsors of today's show. Brennan, Chris J, Dirty Syringe, Eat Fuck, and Jamie F. You guys are the best. You listeners that aren't supporting the show are the second best. I am seriously sorry about the lack of shows lately. I feel like I could have done a show if I tried a little bit harder. But whatever, you don't want to hear apologies and excuses. You just want me to do more shows. And I think I've got everything set up here pretty good. I should be able to start getting out shows on a more regular schedule from now on while I'm here. Until I take off back for Oregon for a few days. I will definitely see you all next week. Maybe even tomorrow on Sunday. Assuming today isn't Sunday, because I don't know if I'm going to get this edited and posted tonight. But I'm going to end today's show with a nice little song by Nerf Herder. A song that I co-wrote with Perry Grip and the rest of the band. This one's called Diana. Oh, naked.